The Gallery app has seen two significant enhancements as a result of Samsung's One UI 8.0, especially in the backdrop blur function. Users may now modify the fuzzy backdrop of their portrait photos thanks to the first improvement, smoother transitions. As a result, editing on the phone is smoother and more professional. The ability to press and hold a picture to compare the altered and original versions of the same shot is the second improvement. In One UI 7, this was not feasible, which made editing more straightforward and enjoyable. Samsung's attention to the little details that have a significant impact on customers is shown by these developments. A better picture editing experience is enhanced by slicker transitions and the ability to compare photos. On May 28, Samsung officially launched the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra One UI 8 beta program. But just two days after the beta program was launched, a lot of individuals got a notification stating that it was full. A smaller number of spaces available or high demand from customers eager to test out the new version might be the cause of this. Samsung may have expanded the amount of participants permitted in the beta program, since several people subsequently claimed that they could still enroll. These phones may be the next to get the upgrade, since Samsung has also made one UI 8 beta program page for the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S23 series. Although the precise dates for the remaining devices are unknown, it is certain that Samsung is preparing to make One UI 8 available to more people in the near future. You're fortunate if you have a Galaxy S25 phone and were accepted into the beta program. Otherwise, you may be able to grab your shot by keeping an eye on the Samsung Members app. If you're using a Galaxy S22 or S23, you may not have to wait long. The Gallery app has several fascinating new features thanks to Samsung's One UI 8.0, especially the backdrop blur function. With the upgrade, editing photos on the phone is now more professional and smoother, and Samsung is attempting to expand the beta program's member base. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe. Peace out.